Ari said, not by myself, foul people. I shall gather a Kraju, a company of heroes. Starting with the Altman, Nurarian the Perfect, who communes among the buried roots of the alien worms. These are the words, and the words are true. This one recognizes a lover of stories when he sees one. Care to hear another tale? Old Grandfather sent you. Interesting. This one can only tell you what he knows, and Azargo only knows the beginning of the story. That is the way of things concerning the great stories and the secrets they hold. Are you sure you want to hear it? In the time before time, when the 16 kingdoms were barely more than 16 tribes, the great hero Kunzari went on many adventures. After Kunzari defeated the giant troll by consuming 401 moon sugar pies, he met a demon. No, a different kind of demon. Now be quiet and listen. The demon said, my brothers and I shall take this land and its treasures, even the moons from the sky. Gunzari objected, but the demon laughed. You cannot stop us, little cat thing. Gunzari said, not by myself, foul demon. I shall gather a Krajun, a company of heroes, starting with the Altmer, Nurarian the Perfect, who communes among the buried roots of the alien worms. These are the words, and the words are true. This one has told you all that he knows about Kunzari and the demon. If you want to hear the tale of Queen Anequina and the Bandari peddler, come back later. What an interesting story. If only I could shake my shadow as easily as Kunzari does, well, anything. At least now I know where to find the first triangulant. Yes, the triangulant. The first reference point that will allow us to use the map and locate the weapon. We must proceed with caution, however. My unknown follower utilizes a magic I cannot penetrate. I need to conserve my energy, just in case. The location was spelled out in the Moonsinger's story, the verse concerning Nurarian the Perfect. It's as clear as the sky on a cloudless day. Among the buried roots of the Aeliad Worms. It refers to a place I know well. Wormroot Depths. Perhaps, but I have no doubt the secret the Khajiit left behind escaped your notice. While your familiarity with the ruin will be a benefit, do not grow complacent. We must be ready for anything. I will meet you at the ruins after I evade my shadow.
search my packs, you will find nothing. This one is innocent. Tell her, Gobani. The distinctive smell of Daedric sorcery. It's as atrocious as it is pervasive. Your technique seems adequate, if a bit unrefined.
I wasn't preserving my power, you'd be done. Ah, the distinctive smell. Make your way to Wormroot Depths and look for anything that appears to be Khajiiti in origin. I'll join you there after I deal with our mysterious follower. Make your way to Worm... I'm not sure what I expected, but it certainly wasn't this. The ancient Khajiiti really want us to work to uncover the Triangulant. It must have something to do with the direction of the light. According to the poem, the full moons and the new moons are the key. Pretty ingenious for a bunch of ancient cats. 
Why don't you see what's in the chest before we head to the Bandari trading post? Come along. I can't maintain this portal indefinitely. A thousand pardons, but please do not stray too far from the walls while in our village. It is for your own safety, and ours. Our shops are still open for your convenience.
Well, it's safe here. Outside, not as much, with the Gold Coast mercenaries looking for trouble. From the looks of it, you know how to take care of yourself. Honored Eraraldro should meet you, I think. He is our clan's elder, and I am his apprentice. His worries weigh heavily upon him, and I wish to unburden him. If you will help him... Kunzaris it, because two shall become three annoying demon. As soon as this one rescues Flynn-filled demon hunter from the alien lair of creeping airy plants. These are the words, and the words are true. Ms. Bina hopes that you and your friend enjoyed this story. Is there anything else that this one can do for you? The lore master? Ah, this one hasn't talked to him in a long time. Miss Bino only knows the second part of the story. That is how the moon singers maintain the secrets of the great tales. Would you like to hear the story again? In the time before time, when the sixteen kingdoms were young and like kittens at play, the great hero Kunzari gathered the company of champions to combat the demon and his brothers. They had come to elsewhere to steal the moons from the sky. Ominous, <laughs> indeed. With Nurarian already at his side, Kunzari turned his attention to the next champion he planned to recruit. The power of the moons will be ours, little cat thing, taunted the demon. How can two possibly hope to stop many? Kunzari said, because two shall become free, annoying demon. As soon as this one rescues Blenthil Demon Hunter from the alien lair of creeping ebony plants. These are the words, and the words are true. You know, the legend of Kunzari is more interesting than I remember. It must be moon singer Ms. Bina's delivery, marginally entertaining. She made the location of the next triangulant quite clear to one of exceptional intellect, such as myself. Of course. Only the nearby Black Vine ruins could be referred to as the alien lair of creeping ebony plants. I never cared for carnivorous vegetation. I'll meet you in the ruins after I make one more attempt to catch my elusive stalker. Yes, and with brazen impunity. I almost caught my stalker here at the trading post before they slipped away in the crowd. They're like an insect buzzing around my head that I can't quite swat. Someone with that level of power concerns me greatly. Fighting only hurts those that cannot defend themselves. And with the troubles the houndsmen have brought about, I thought it was wise to prepare. I see now that I may have been uh, mistaken. I hired the Colovians beyond our gate to protect us, but now... 
They're more of a threat than anything else. Soon, they'll tire of our excuses. The young one's eyes shine at the thought, but I won't let their blood be shed for my actions. And to act, I must know the Colovians' plans. Perhaps you'd be willing to help. The Colovians drink our wine and eat our food. They are waiting. For what? We must find out. I've heard of a courier's arrival within the hour. I need his message before it gets into Colovian hands. He comes from the north, set to arrive at a small camp just outside these gates. We must get the letter before anyone from the Gold Coast does. Search the campsite. If the courier is not yet there, lie in wait for him. I put my faith in you. Please, do not disappoint me. A matter of gold and a matter of pride. They've demanded more than agreed upon. Suspicious, yes? I believe they weigh two contracts, ours and another's. They wait on news from Colovia by courier. He comes from the north, set to arrive at a small camp. Search the campsite. The Khajiit Moonsingers went to a great deal of effort to separate and hide their clues, but I feel like we're getting closer.
Try not to let the carnivorous plants consume you. Getting eaten by mostly stationary creatures doesn't help one's reputation. Or so I've heard. Daryl, I was supposed to die, not you. Ah, another prism puzzle. At least the ancient Khajiiti were consistent. Examine that stone plaque, will you? Any clue will be helpful.
knowledge can only be found in the dark. Could that refer to the new moons? Ignore any statues displaying a full moon. Adequately done. Now, collect the triangulant and let's be on our way. Come along. I can't maintain this portal indefinitely. Then Kunzari turned to the rest of his Krajun. One more we need. A Kajiti queen of renown. A Nequina sharp tongue. Who loves to bask in the glow of the big moon when she reflects and thinks deep thoughts. These are the words, and the words are true. Satari is new to the art of storytelling, so forgive her if she isn't as interesting as she should be. She will improve. Of this she is sure. Old Grandfather, the Lord Master? Satari has heard of him, but has never met him. She was made a moonsinger by the previous storyteller to guard the third part of that ancient tale. Since you arrived so late, should Satari tell the story again? In the time before time, when the Sixteen Kingdoms roamed with wild abandon, the hero, Kunzari, gathered champions to deal with a terrible demon and his horde. With Norerian the Perfect and Flintil Demon Hunter, he sought a third companion. Patience! Satari is getting to that part. The demon said, Oh, little cat thing, you amuse us. How can three tiny morsels ever stand against us? Kunzari laughed. Ha! We may be tiny, but we are persistent, and tricky too, as you will see. Then Kunzari turned to his Krajun. One more we need, a Kajiti queen of renown. A Nequina sharp tongue, who loves to bask in the glow of the big moon when she reflects and thinks deep thoughts. These are the... Open for business. State your destination. I'll add you to the list. Safe travels to you.
This new moon singer shows a modicum of promise, but she hasn't yet reached her full potential. Still, the story was interesting, and it points us toward the final triangulant required to make use of the map. Oh yes, the moon singer made it quite clear. Her tail points to an old shrine not far from here known as Jode's Light, the big moon referenced in the story. Once we collect the final triangulant, I'll be able to use the map to find the weapon. Still don't trust me? Neither do I. I know what I'm capable of. I'm no better than the fools that lead the alliances. That's why we'll only use the weapon to get them to the negotiating table. Diplomacy works best when facilitated by a big stick. Top quality merchandise. Please, a moment of your time. I need to... <laughs> My intentions are honorable, I assure you. I am Kamira. Agent for the Speaker of the Main. When we learned about Abner Tharn sought the same weapon as Euraxia, the Speaker sent me to intervene.
Euraxia Tarn, Abnur's cruel half-sister. She conquered my home city of Rimen and proclaimed herself its queen. If she gets her hands on the weapon, Elsewhere's suffering will increase a thousandfold. I do not think they get along. From my observations, Abnor seeks the weapon for peaceful ends, but this is a delusion. It is too powerful, too evil. We must convince Abner to find the weapon before Euraxia does and destroy it. That is the only way. That would be my master, Garashri. The main can't be everywhere. So Garashri travels and speaks for the main. Prrr. I suppose you could say I am the speaker's speaker. At least, I am his eyes and ears in this situation. Gareshri is busy evaluating potential candidates to step into the role of the Kajiti spiritual leader, but no one has been selected as yet. That is why he sent me on this mission. Oh, such a question. You do not really expect me to answer that, do you? I will say this, however. There is no one else in Tembriel quite like me. Are you always so direct with your questions? Oh, very well. Perhaps a bit. It helps me in my role as agent for the Speaker of the Main. And that is all I will say on this matter. We must focus on finding the item before Euraxia Tharn. I will help you do this, and then we will destroy it. Tharn believes he knows best. He will not listen to me. I am not sure he will even accept your counsel. But you have to try. At first, I thought Tharn was working with Euraxia. From what I have seen, his mission of peace is sincere. In every way. How can something of such power be used safely to stop a war? It cannot. When you require a breeze, you do not summon a tornado. We must reach the item before Euraxia and then destroy it. That is the only option. I find it fitting that the final triangulant awaits us in a Khajiiti ruin. I'm beginning to question my own magnificence, if you can imagine such a thing. Despite multiple attempts, I still haven't been able to identify or catch the damnable prowler who has been following me. It's really becoming quite irksome. A Khajiit? Why would the Speaker of the Main send a powerful wizard to hound me so? My half-sister? They're aware of her interest in this? Hmm. But why didn't this agent of the Speaker simply approach me directly? I would have gladly welcomed her assistance in this matter. Destroy my one chance to stop the Three Banners' War? Never. Don't tell me you agree with this nonsense. That we should allow the Dominion, Pact and Covenant to continue to tear Tamriel apart? Do you want more people to die? That's the spirit. As far as Euraxia is concerned, however, I am inclined to agree with the Speaker of the Main's agent. We must reach the weapon first. I know the dangers. We must proceed with the utmost caution. 
Now, let's find the last triangulant. Whether this chimera agrees to work with us or not doesn't really matter. Is this ancient weapon any more dangerous than the ongoing war? I sincerely doubt it. Let's find them. With luck, we'll gather the last triangle and be done with ancient ruins. Grab the final triangulant and... Come along. I can't maintain this portal indefinitely. Once you know where to look, the location becomes perfectly obvious. Come, let's talk. With your assistance, we gathered the three triangulants that allowed me to decipher the map formed by the Wrathstone Tablet. I now know that the demon weapon resides in the Halls of Colossus, along the southern coast of Elsewhere. An ancient structure whose purpose and origin is clouded in legend. Some believe it contains the Dwarven Numidium, which could be the weapon we seek. I've chartered a wagon to get us to the coast, then a boat will take us the rest of the way. Honestly, I don't give a skeever's ass. She may have been able to track me when I wasn't attempting to conceal our movements, but I made sure to... Hmm. It appears this Chimera is more capable than I anticipated. Halls of Colossus? Arrogant Imperial! Without my assistance, you will never survive that place. Away with you, cat! It falls upon me to end this accursed war. So you can declare yourself Emperor? I think not. I will accompany you to find and destroy them. Emperor has never been my ambition. Join us if you want. Just don't get in my way. Surprisingly clever, those ancient Khajiiti. An old tablet, oral histories disguised as fables, and sophisticated triangulant tiles, all pointing to one location, the Halls of Colossus. The abhorrent Three Banners War is practically over.
The cat can do as she pleases. Based on the skills she has already demonstrated, however, I'm not averse to having her along. Just realize that I plan to utilize the weapon despite her protestations. Now take this for your efforts. Halls of Colossus, a place as mysterious as it is ancient. I never imagined I'd have a reason to seek it out, let alone explore it. Let's hope the item we pursue lives up to my expectations. A few years ago, my deplorable sibling broke protocol and conquered a portion of elsewhere. I assume she wants the weapon to secure her territory and increase the size of her holdings. Euraxia's ruthlessness is exceeded only by her ambition. Half-sister, and I have no hesitation in this regard. To best Euraxia, however, we need to reach the halls of Colossus ahead of her. Give me and Chimera a moment to negotiate an accord we can both live with, then meet... Take care of any outstanding business you may have as quickly as possible. I want to depart for the halls of Colossus and find the weapon as soon as we can. The legends call it the Demon Weapon. From what we discovered by researching the Khajiiti stories, it's hidden in the halls of Colossus. I want... The halls of Colossus are a place of myth and legend. Personally, I thought it was lost to history until I acquired the tablet. The true purpose of the ancient structure may never be known. But... Delay. We should leave for the halls of Colossus immediately. Take care of any outstanding. These ruins are not empty. Your friends have come this way. Euraxia's soldiers are not my them. friends, Cat. I will not allow them to seize the weapon. So you say, but will you really oppose your sister? Half-sister. inside. After Tharn and queen, Gladstone, I see my demented Euraxia predicted. Still full of herself. My queen sends her love <coughs> and this poison gas. To me, before the gas takes you. Necromancer, deal with these scum. Keep them away from Thoughts! 
You brought the rough stone here. Its magic will unlock the vault. Well done, Cat. We need to get that door open. Euraxia's soldiers were here long enough to turn some of the Hull's own defenses against us. We need to be on our guard. One ancient ruin is much like another, and I have spent a lot of time exploring places such as this. To be honest, I took an educated guess. Most assuredly. Unless the Euraxians blunder into them first, but I do not think we can count on that. They Many ancient Kajiti puzzles utilize reflected light. The mechanism... Necromancers. Only your sister would ally with such abominations. Half-sister. And who's to say the necromancer isn't the captain's pet? Regardless, Euraxia apparently wants you dead. I have that effect on people, especially my relatives. You could have waited for my portal. Never mind, let's move on.
Now solve the other side. Reliefs. They tell the story of Kunzari and the demons. Those aren't demons. They're dragons. Jude's light? The dragons are the weapon? Euraxia wants to release dragons! Damn it all! I have no use for dragons. Come on, let's put a stop to this. That did it. Oh, now what? Brothers, we are free! Get down! I was trying to stop that from happening. You released them the blame falls the squarely on Captain Calcevius, I'm quite certain. He was working for your sister! Half-sister! But let's finish this back at my camp. Come along. I can't maintain this portal indefinitely. Everything Garishly sent me to prevent has occurred. I knew going to the Halls of Colossus was a mistake. Now dragons are loose and elsewhere. At least we stopped Euraxia's soldier. I suppose that counts for something. Other than set the dragons free? I have no idea. Luckily we stopped him from completing it. Whatever he hoped to accomplish. I wonder if Abnor knew about the dragons. If his plan all along was to release them into elsewhere. 
After he set the whole troublesome event in motion, if Abner had never acquired the Wrathstone, they would have... Ah! I should not push these angry thoughts in your direction. All I know is that a lot of dragons escaped from an ancient prison, and now they are loose in elsewhere. My people, they must... That could have turned out better. At least we stopped my half-sister from seizing control of the imprisoned dragons. That's something, I suppose. Of course, this delays my plan to end the Three Banners War, last it all. I should say so. As destructive as the accursed war is, a rampaging horde of enraged dragons, well, it doesn't quite compare, does it? If we can contain the dragons in elsewhere, that would certainly be for the best. Right at this exact moment? No. No. But I will figure something out by the time I reach elsewhere and consult with Garish Ri. The Speaker of the Main needs to be informed, and I must have words with my despicable half-sister. About that. In hindsight, I suspect the tip I received about the Wrathstone came from Euraxia. She knew I wouldn't be able to resist such a lure. She played me. That doesn't occur often, and it has put me all out of sorts. I hate being tricked. For now, help the Khajiiti prepare for the dragon invasion, and take this as recompense for your service. In the meantime, I have plans to formulate and arrangements to make. When the moment to deal with the dragons comes, I will contact you. Keep an eye out for a letter or a messenger or some such. As soon as I'm ready to head to elsewhere and move against the dragons, I'll be in touch. You have a particular knack that has served me well. I plan to utilize it again when the time is right.
We depart within the hour. Where are you headed? Safe travels to you. We can find room. Safe travels to you. Did you know Wood Elf? We can find room, depending on your destination. Tell me. We depart with a new safe travels to you. Tell me. State your destination. I'll add you to the list. Tell me. around you now. Over here. 
Dulip should be somewhere inside. a charcoal rubbing of this tablet. Do Give me grace. The fire song didn't get you. You know better than to worry about me, Laurel. But look, I found something. Fill in our friend. I'll keep watch back here. I asked Laurel to find capable help, and it looks like she delivered. Exquisite. The name's Dulef of the Mage's Guild. I managed to give those Craven Fire Songs the slip earlier, but I'm sure glad to have you with us now. Look what I found. An ancient tablet. The carving's as old as Tawaka's tale, but the symbol at the top represents the Druid King. And the pattern suggests some sort of ritual. But I'm not sure about the other three symbols. Weirds, maybe? No idea. Earlier, I met with a Beldama Weiris. Thought she might know something about why the Druid King visited the Weirds before leading the Druids to the Sisters. She needed time to recall the stories, but remembered this tablet and sent me to examine it. No idea. That's why I made this rubbing. Why don't you take it to the Beldama camp near the Weird Tree and show it to Weiris Tola? Maybe it will help her recall any stories about Weirds and the Druid. The camp is just to the west of the Beldama Weird Tree. I'll stay with Druid Laurel and make sure she gets there. We'll meet you at the camp shortly, friend. I want to take a look at this tablet first.
another druid. Are you with them? Stay back. What happened here? Druids call themselves the Fire Song. They attacked us. Blight and thorns. Please, friend, talk to her and find out what happened. First, those druids arrived in force. Call themselves the Fire Song. And now you show up with the mage who spoke to Weiris Tola and another druid? Are you here to attack us too? The Fire Song leader, Archdruid Michiel, demanded that Weiris Tola come with him to open the. How did he phrase it? The Druid King's ritual site? When she refused, they attacked. They took her away. No. But if you really want to help, find Weiris Tola and bring her back safely. Druids haven't been seen in High Rock since the weird tree was just a shrub. So when they appeared, we took interest. I'll mark the locations of their camps on your map. Only recently, we were curious at first, not concerned. Frankly, most of my sisters thought druids were just myths. I certainly never met one. When they started setting up camps, we just wanted to keep an eye on them. Maybe that was naive. Tablet? No, I've never seen this before. The symbol in the middle, that's similar to one we use to represent nature. And the one on the bottom left looks like a version of the Beldama symbol. As for the other two, I don't know what they mean. It all happened so fast. He said something about needing a Weirus to open the path, and I know he mentioned the Druid King and a ritual site. Things I'd never heard of until the mage arrived and asked Weiris Tola about them. Yes, Weiris. Firestone camps on the mainland? We need to figure out where they took Weiris Tola. Stay here, Laurel. I'll follow our friend, but stay out of their way. Let's go see what the fire song are up No sign of Weiris Tola. That. Sacred seeds. Laurel said the Fire Song were after the Stone Lore Seed at Earthenroot Enclave. What does this have to do with the Druid King's visit to the Weir?
There's something over there. Agfan, huh? That's enough to point us in a direction, at least. See if we can find any sign of Weiristola. What's that inscribed there? Wonder what that means. Let's get back to Druid Laurel and Weiris Jocelyn and show them what we found.
back. What if we're as Tola? Roots and thorns confounded. What took you so long? I had half a mind to go after the two of you myself for a moment there. Did you find anything? Do you know where the fire song took Weiris Tola? Is she all right? Hagfen? The marsh to the northeast? Well, if the fire song marked a location on their map, it must be important. We need to head there and fast. I don't trust that path traitor archdruid Mishiel to not hurt the Weiris. Did you find anything else? Orders. Let me see that. Hmm. Archdruid Orlaith is one of the most respected elders in the Firesong Circle. But why did she send Mishiel here to get a nature spirit? We have plenty of our own in the archipelago. Anyway, is that everything? Interesting. We druids use totems and fetishes in our rituals. Does this serve a similar purpose? And what's this word inscribed here? Free. Never heard of it. We have no other choice. We need to see if the fire song took Weiris Tola to Hagfen. The mark on the map is quite clear. Shouldn't be too hard to find that spot in Hagfen. I wonder what's there. I'm sick of being one step behind those blighted cowards. First they tried to take our sacred seed, and now this? What does it all mean? The sacred seeds were given into the care of the three druid circles by druid king Kasserain to keep and guard until the time they would be needed. That's what the prophecy says, but the actual meaning has been debated for centuries. The Dream of Kasserain. I've been fascinated by the stories of the druid king since I read the prophecy. Who knows why those foul sacks of root rot do anything? Obviously, they wanted to take possession of the Stone Lore Sacred Sea. But why they want to acquire a nature spirit from the mainland? I have no idea. Maybe we're all... There's a cave near that spot on the map, over on the eastern shore. We never go there. My sisters say it's haunted. Haunted? Great. I'll bet that's it then. We'll meet you there.
You. You're not a mud crab, are you? Are you one of those damn poachers wandering about and stealing my shells? You seem a bit taller, but you won't fool me. I know you're up to no good. Why do you want to know? Are you here to steal my shells? I know you're up to no good. You're just like that crazy woman to the north of here. To the north of here, along the beach. Crazed lady trying to plunder riches of the dead. She's wild as can be. Why do you want... You tell me. I've seen stranger things in my lifetime. Clear a path ahead, friend. We'll follow behind you.
Clear a path ahead, friend. We'll follow behind you.
I don't have time for distractions. The second ritual site awaits. Where is Tola? Are you all right? Ah, Dulef. You and your friends arrived just in time. Thank you. Thank you for coming to rescue me from that druid villain. Your arrival undoubtedly saved my life. But you were too late to stop the Archdruid from completing his ritual. I think this is all related to the stories your friend Dulaf asked me about. After consulting with my fellow elders and listening to the Fire Song Druid prattle on, yes. In one story, the Beldama Weirds worked with Druid King Kasserain long ago to consecrate this place for a ritual. Ah, just as I remembered, the pattern depicts a ritual, though one I am unfamiliar with. The symbols represent the Druid King, the Beldama Weird, and the Glenmoral Weird, and the one in the center. I believe that's the spirit arch druid Michel seeks. I believe it's the ritual depicted on the tablet, but in reverse. It shows the druid king and the weirds consecrating a place for a nature spirit. The Archdruid's ritual desecrated this site. Now he's off to do the same thing at the second site.
Not specific. The Glenmora Weir? Hmm. Let's discuss our next steps. So the Druid King didn't just meet with the Beldama Weir to perform a ritual. He had the help of the Glenmora Weir too? And the Fire Song somehow knew this as well? Blight! Was I the only one who didn't know about this? We need to stop them. Let me create a portal to Bankurai. It should deposit you close to the weird camp. Much obliged. Stay back, Druid. Your threats of violence are not welcome here. Please, I'm not one of the others you encountered. My friends and I are here to stop them. Oh, really? And why should I trust you? You travel with a Druid, stranger. 
The last druids that entered our camp were quick to violence and stole one of our sisters away. They said they needed her to open a path. I don't wish to see any more blood spilled, but if you're with them... Odd, I wasn't aware there were such distinctions. But if you're not with these fire song, then why are you here? The Beldama sent you? Well, you're too late. The druids took Weiris Sorsha with them. If you really want to help, I'll tell you what I know. The druids seek a nature spirit. A very special one that has been asleep for a very long time. Let me have your map. The archdruid asked about an ancient ritual site. One we only know through legends. It lies somewhere deep within the sunken road. I marked the entrance on your map. If you truly want to help, hurry and save Wiris Sosha. The Glen Moral Weirds know this ancient spirit only through stories and legends. It sleeps in a ritual site hidden within the sunken road. Please, find the site and save Weiris Sorsha. The Arch Druid, he seemed to enjoy hurting us. We have some stories about the spirit that sleeps beneath the sunken road. They mostly revere and venerate the spirit, which the stories call free. Interesting. I, I just remembered a verse. Awake free when the barons in ivy robes need you most. It's an old saying. The druids we knew embraced so-called civilization. They were as bad as the city dwellers. Weird seek the beauty of unmarred nature, isolation. The stories give the impression that the druids of old found our ways unsavory. No. To be honest, we hardly even think about druids. They've been absent from High Rock for centuries. Our stories talk about a singular entity, the druids of Galen. I suppose I should have realized they'd form subgroups. The weird certainly have. Thank you, Weiris. We'll find Weiris Sorsha and stop the fire song, I promise.
As much as I hate to admit it, Tyria is right. Nironi's willing sacrifice is priceless compared to yours. I hope so. We're a We're ready. Now cut out her heart. Put her heart in the bowl on the altar. Worthy offering. What is it you My seek? My prince, we seek to know why. Silence, pray. I speak not to the weak, but to the one who took the heart. This one interests me. Come, speak to me, hunter. You are not mere prey, mortal. Yet you aid the weird who still lick their wounds of defeat. To start, a hunter's challenge of skill. Hunt my aspects within my hunting grounds. I will place you. You are not to stop. I will place you there. When you've won, if you've won, return to the shrine. I'm not sure how much time I have, but thank you for what you've done. My sacrifice is nothing compared to your brave response to Hercene's challenge. Can I help you understand this realm, a place of shadow, hunger, strength, speed, and guile? I know them well. He sent you to track them. The Hunter's Test, which I once undertook myself. Though I've not been dead for very long, I will answer your questions as a final favor. The aspect of strength takes the form of a bear. Crouch low to the ground to search for signs of its passing. A creature so large doesn't leave a subtle trail. The aspect of speed takes the wolf form. You may surprise it within its den, but only if you are careful. Look for its paw prints which may appear as stars on the ground in this realm. The aspect of Guile is the hunter. He'll be the hardest to track, for he wants no prey to realize his nearness. But every hunter must rest sometime. Seek his camp, and if you are lucky, the hunter will be there. Good luck, hunter. It's time for me to pass on and rejoin the cycle.
I don't think you appreciate how awful my situation is. You probably live like this every day. Hopeless. It's all hopeless. I'll never fit. You. Don't I know you? It's so dark in here, and I'm... Isn't it amazing how we all ask ourselves such questions? Really, it's all Azei at Oinok's fault. He's my guide. Or he was. I have no way of knowing where he could be now. But I was here to tour the ruins. That is why you're here, isn't it? Giuliano's truth! Such ignorance is breathtaking! If you'll help me find out what has happened to Azi at Oinok, I will tell you all about the ruins. If he's dead, I would want to take back the wages I'd paid him, at the very least. It's so hard to find good help. And Azei at Oinok is supposedly one of the best. Supposedly. He went further into these caverns. It's an old route between the deserts of southern Bankurai and the more temperate northern area. You don't suppose he's gotten lost, do you? That wouldn't bode well for his reputation as a guide, would it? First things first. Let's find Azi at Oinok, especially as he left me bereft of my goods and gear. At least I still have my menu. I'm not leaving. If I wanted to leave, I would have already done so. Hear me! Help me! Poisoned by spiders. As we entered this passage, I stopped for a moment, and her mid- I am tired, and my muscles ache, but I am otherwise in good health. Had you not- Yes. For my duty is to protect innocence from predation. A spot. Arminius Sophus. What happened to you? You are in a terrible state. Are you aware of the danger I was path? in? And where is Lutibrius? Lutibrius! Lutibrius? I've been wasting away like a common beggar. And you ask after the monkey? I shall write about how awful you are as a guide. I must ensure he does not lose his way again.
in for a bit of respite as well, I see. If you'd like some provisions, I might be able to help you out while we're both... You. I knew I recognized you from before. You retrieved that relic for me from... I've been unable to research this. My editor gave me a list of other scholars who have gone missing here, presumably to frighten me. <laughs> Aminias and Deshri are their names. I want you to search for their camps and see if they had research I can... cite. Aminyas may have been a xenophobic, dour old elf, but he's at least thorough in his arguments. As for Morgal Deshery, it might help to inject some romance into the piece, since the woman was so obviously taken with King Jolie. Of course not. I intend to recompile their research into my own words and add whatever conclusions suit my opinion. Don't you know anything about the way academic writing is penned? I'm glad that you've learned to come to me when you are seeking knowledge. In this case, however, you will have to look elsewhere first. Say, away from me. Mishiel killed where is Sorsha? We need to get inside and stop him now! My apologies, poor lass. Rutka, help us avenge her death! They must have killed the Weiris as soon as she opened the path. Archdruid Mishiel is getting impatient. Rotten path traitor! Whatever purpose this ancient spirit serves, we can't let the Fire Song have it. Let's put an end to this! Tava's breath! I wish we had arrived in time to save Weiris Sosha. Damned Fire Song! But they have nowhere else to run. 
Let the craven curs eat sand. Whatever happens in there, I'm with you, sailor. And I'm sure I speak for Druid Laurel, too. Stay on guard. Someone approaches. Guard the ritual site. Spirit for the witness the power of a fire song a druid. Why must you interfere? 
Archdruid Michiel didn't stand a chance against you. Friend, help me release the spirit. Maybe you could talk to the spirit? They seem confused. Awake. Sap. Flowing. Roots. Stirring. You! You dug me up. I was... asleep. Seasons and seasons, plucked like a flower from the dream of the green. A promise whispered in petals, needed. Yes, free. Keeper. Nourisher, the flower grown and given form. Dreamed by the green long ago, I am. The king spoke, the weird sang, and free became free. Mm, bright, too bright. Purpose. Free has a purpose. But the memories are... unclear. I am... the tender. The nourisher. Gentle hands mend the ground. Awake now. But where? Who? Blood warm in the soil. Away! Sunlight on leaves, please! Free? I'm a druid. I'll take you someplace safe after I talk to my friend. Like... the druid king? Sunlight on leaves... Yes! Free will go with you! We actually did it. We learned why the Druid King met with the Weirds before leaving High Rock. It was to summon this nature spirit. But as to their purpose, that remains a mystery. Perhaps the Stone Lore Elders can help me figure it out. We need to return to the Glenmoral Weird Camp and let them know what happened here. They deserve to hear about Weiris Sorsha from us, as well as about the fate of Archdruid Michio. We can discuss our next steps back there after we give them the news. Let me open a portal for us back to the camp. Here we are.
The woods are no place for a princess. You could bring free to the Mages Guild. I'm sure they'd be safe there, Laurel. No, Dula. I think I need to take free to the Stonewall Circle. They belong with the Druids. Free belongs with Druids. Yes. Yes. Purpose and stone. Rain and sun. Like I was telling Duluth, I want to take Free to Galen, an island in the Sisters' archipelago. They should be with the Stone Lord Druids. If anyone can help them find their purpose and keep them safe, it's us. After their actions here on the mainland, I wouldn't put it past them. The Fire Song revealed themselves as the path traders they are. I need to warn my circle and get Free to Galen. Take this friend. Maybe we can work together again in the future. I hope Free feels comfortable on Galen. I know the Stone Lord Druids will do everything we can to help them and make them feel welcome. And I hope to see you again, my friend. You should visit us on Galen the next time you travel to the archipelago. Free was asleep for so long. They need time to adjust and remember who they are. And to figure out the purpose that the Druid King and the Ancient Weird had in mind when they summoned them. On Galen, they'll be safe among the Stone Lord Druids. That's a good question. We work with nature spirits all the time, but... Free is unique. They're connected to our past in ways I can only guess. I'll do my best to make sure my people help Free in any way we can. It's a beautiful island in the Sisters' Archipelago. Galen may be less tame than High Isle, but I like it. House Mornard oversees the main city of Vastir, but the rest of the island is wild and free. In that wilderness, the stone lore make their home. No, not like you mean. We have enclaves, small communities of druids working together to keep the true way. We have a larger camp which should serve as a safe haven for free. At least until we know what free wants to do next. I hope free feels... It's a beautiful island in the Sisters Archipelago. Galen may be less tame than High Isle, but I like it. House Mornard oversees the main city of Vastir, but the rest of the island is wild and free. In that wilderness, the stone lore make their home. No, not like you mean. We have enclaves, small communities of druids working together to keep the true way. We have a larger camp which should serve as a safe haven for free. At least until we know what Free wants to do next.
the notes. Oh, superb. I'm sure. Now all I have to do is locate that wildlife specimen Azei calls our pet. If only I'd had that monkey Latibrius stuffed when we first found him. We'd know precisely where he is. Oh, well, 
could always go back to the Alakir Desert for another if need be. Aminyas may have been a xenophobic, dour old elf, but he's at least thorough in his arguments. As for Morgal Deshery, he might help to inject some romance into the piece, since the woman was so obviously taken with King Jolie. Of course not. I intend to recompile their research into my own words and add whatever conclusions suit my opinion. Don't you know anything about the way academic writing is penned? Seems that the only thing more loathsome than Herminia Sophus writing his own opinions for posterity may be the opinions that he ends up recycling from this.
Halt there, traveler. Bankerai Garrison is on lockdown since the death of King Aemond. Only Knights of St. Pelin and members of the royal family are allowed in. Also, if you were planning on going to Evermore, you might want to reconsider that. An army of Reachmen is just a day's march from the city. This is absurd. I've committed no crime.
specimen for my collection.
So you succeeded. Hersin send you to me as a challenger. Does he mock me, or is there more to you than meets the eye? So you've succeeded. Impressive. Few best the aspects. Already you yearn for the next hunt. I've two hunters and one grotto. To the victor goes the spoil. Find Bernark and rip the briar heart from his chest. Prove yourself the true hunter, and he the prey. And the grotto is yours. Should you prove yourself the victor, bring the Reachman's fledgling briar heart back to the altar. I will speak to you one last time, if you succeed. A final challenge for us both. This should be easy. Doubtful. I defeated the weird. I'll defeat you just as easily. The power of the Briarheart will be mine permanent. That's what you think. You've returned. We feared the worst. What happened? Has Hercene asked something of you? You've proven yourself a true hunter. And Brynark? What of him? Only one Supreme Hunter would be left. And with Bernark defeated, we can take back the grotto. Go, and luck be on your side. I'll show her who the better hunter is.
Your victory will be remembered. Thank you for making our sister's death worth it. We're in your debt. We still have a lot of work to do. Cleaning out the remaining Reachmen and regaining the full trust of the Bears. We can feel the connection returning, but there's no telling what damage has already been done, and how long it will take to undo. Now please, return the Briarheart to her scene. Proven hunter, I see you have the Briar Heart, torn from the chest of the Reachman. His punishment for failure is to roam the hunting grounds as prey. His chest, a gaping hollow, a reminder of his weakness. Consider it returned. The grotto belongs to the weird once again, but more importantly, to you. I'll be watching you, mortal. A larger hunt looms in your future, one I'll watch with great interest. 